Hi, I'm Bo. Uh, my pronouns are he, him, and I've been using trans tape for a couple years now. I think it's coming on like three years now. Um, I first started binding with the traditional binder, and um, because of my stage four asthma, it was like extremely difficult for me to go throughout my day that way with the compression. It's just awful. So I started binding with KT tape because I saw people doing that on Instagram. Um, and my skin did not like that at all. It inflamed and got blistered, and, but it was doing a lot more for me, for my dysphoria than a binder ever did. Um, and then on Instagram, I found someone using trans tape and that's how I found the trans tape account and that it was made for that. So I bought my first roll and blew through it, was not able to do what it was supposed to do. It took me like three months of continuing buying and applying the product in different ways before I figured out how I needed to do it. Because everybody else that was using it is chest much smaller than me. And I didn't I didn't see anybody that looked like me that could do it in the way that I did. So I was just kind of messing around and figured it out for myself. And I've been doing the same application for two years now with no problems. And never been happier. And now I'm gonna show you how I do my process. So I've already put my nipple guards on. When I do my nipple guards, um, I don't use paper towel or anything. I use a smaller piece of trans tape flipped over and stuck to itself. Um, you can also put a little bit of salve on that as well to like help with dryness or whatever if you have that issue. I don't. Um, so they stick on pretty well and I also don't experience the puffiness that I might get from using a toilet paper or paper towel. So um, once those are on, I've already pre-cut my strips. Um, the maximum I usually use is eight. It can sometimes be more if I'm having a bad day. The minimum that I usually use is four on a good day, two on each side. Um, but I always do them in the same amount of sections, three sections from the bold uh, blue line, and I always round my corners. I found that not rounding my corners give me blisters at the points because all the tension is being held there at the blisters, whereas with the rounded corner, the tension is being dispersed along the rounded edge, so you're not gonna experience the same tension that you would. I normally peel my pieces off the paper all the way so that I can line it up right, and then I lay the first couple inches down where the crease starts, about there. So the bottom of it covers like where it folds. And the fun part, you're gonna grab it like right where it's sticking and bend over at 90 degrees from the hip so that everything falls towards the floor and then use the tape itself to pull everything kind of downward and under your armpit and then lay the slack inch down. And rub it. And that's typically what the first piece looks like. It looks really ugly. So, um, I also always start with this side because this is my big side. <laughs> really lopsided. <laughs> and then normally I would add a second piece, but this piece is actually good enough. I think I just need this one. The vertical piece I normally put last. And it starts right underneath with no tension. And then I just kind of like slightly pull up And that's gonna give it like a smooth kind of look under your shirt. And you can go again if you need to over top of it. As long as the endpoints are touching your skin, it won't lift up. The other side is much easier because it's smaller. I'm gonna do the same thing. Lie it down. Grab it. Add it over.
can see it's folded right there. Um, that can get sweaty underneath of there. It might bother some people. You can put a rolled up piece of like paper towel or whatever's comfortable for you so that it will like absorb some of the moisture. Um, it doesn't bother me, so I don't do that. And you can also go in at an angle sometimes. The vertical piece is what really helps me get that peck shape. So that side's much easier than this. Um, and you can go in and, like, this would probably bother me, so um, 